What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we are going to be going over our new squad in NBA 2K22, my team lads. Before we go on, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We are like 7 or we're like 850 subscribers away. We're trying to hit it by the end of this month. We're trying to hit 280,000 or subscribers. It's going to be really, really close. But if you guys are new to the channel and like this content, subscribe. Um... And now we're going to get on to it. So, this had been our team before. This was our team before. I think this was our team? No, it wasn't actually. Kristaps was not there. Um, McDice was. So, this was my team. This was my team on Thursday. We had Baron Davis, the one, Buddy Heald, Scotty Pippen, Rudy Gay, and Serge Ibaka. The bench, we had Gary Payton, Manu Ginobili, Jalen Brown, Antonio McDyess, and Cliff Robinson. So we had a, I like the team. A lot of people would say, oh, this team's terrible. But I'm like, I, I do like this team. I really, really like this team. But now, but now, but now, lads, we are going to have here, we're going to have the new squad. We are going to have the new squad, lads. So... Starting point guard. He is a diamond. He is a shooting guard. And his name is Larry Hughes. Six foot five, six foot eight wings by 99 defensive overall. He's got six Hall of Fame by his pickpocket clamps and deceptor, ankle braces, menace, ball stripper, catch and shoot, um, corner specialist, uh, uh, acrobat, ankle breaker, teardropper. Blue hands, chasing artist, quick chain, intimidator, off all pass, pogo stick. He's got bailout, quick first step, hot set hunter, unstrippable. So like his badges are really, really nice. He just doesn't have like handles for days, right? Then he also has got an 84 three pointer, which is pretty solid. But just look at his defense: 98 steel, 95 perimeter defense with his height, which is insane. Like decent interior, or good interior and a decent block. He's also got 89 speed, 8 speed, 80 acceleration. Look, it could be better, but it's pretty decent. And then he's got 96 lateral which is insane. So for me, this guy right here is one of the best point guys in the game. He's not quite Gary Payton, Dark Matter, but I mean, he might be number two. He might be number two. My backup point guard. Now this is a you know, really tough one. And I've been trying to like talk this through a lot. Like I'm trying to think this through because there are three players that each of them have different reasons. So Baron Davis, reason. He is equally, he is the best non on ball, he's the best off ball defender of them all. And he is the best shooter. Baron Davis, he doesn't come with range, and I don't have range on him. He comes with like 15 halves, including a like quick first step. He also comes with range or with um, interceptor. I've put Chef on him, which does help if he's coming off the dribble. Um, he's also got, again, really, 41 really good goal badges. Um, stats wise, unbelievable. Interior leaves a bit to be desired, but look, some of these guys aren't great interior-wise. Then Gary Payton moves a little bit better than Baron Davis, does not shoot as well defensively. Better on-ball than Baron Davis, not as good off-ball as Baron Davis. So again, a really, really tight one there, in my opinion, between those two guys. And then we have got Bob Sura, who's the best offensive player of the three of them. In my opinion, pretty much shoots equally as well as a Baron Davis, despite having a little bit lower three-ball. And again, he's got not the half badges, but he does have 41 goals. So he's got pretty much every key goal badge. And also, Bar um, Bob Sura is the tallest. He is 6'5", whereas the other is 6'4 and 6'3", respectively. Well, sorry, um, Baron Dave 6'4", or 6'3", Peyton 6'4". So, it's really those three. It really is. We got the three, or we have the 5,000 MT Bob, or um, Bob Sura. We the Unlimited War Peyton. And the 750 tokens, Baron Davis. Look, the player that I personally play best with in game is Baron Davis. It's Baron Davis. He is the player that I personally play best with. I, if you're asking me who do I think is going to give me the most output, it's going to be Baron Davis. Baron Davis doesn't burst, but I do like just the way he moves in general. Look, I'm way bit, I'm way higher on this guy than most people. I I think he's for he's not. I'm not going to say he's better than Payton, but he's just objectively with like stats and badges. Um. The way Peyton and the way Peyton moves, Peyton's gonna be better for most people. But the way I play the game, 
Baron Davis is the perfect point guard. The backup Larry Hughes, that is. Then we have got our two guards. This is probably where we're struggling the most. I am still to this day starting Buddy Heels. Buddy Heels. And you might say, oh, he's very mid. I'm like, he's not mid, but like he's not spectacular. He's not Clay Thompson. Heck, he's not even Dime Diamond Clay. I might honestly I might if I can buy Diamond Clay, Diamond Clay's going in. Um but for me, he just he, why would I replace him? He's got like shifty. He's got really good defense. If I need him to, he can grab ball. He got a good wingspan. He doesn't miss ever. He's the best release in the game, in my opinion. Um, heck, like I even think his gold. Is, I used his gold to clutch time for like half of last season. His gold was chicken. Um, nine three three ball handles it great in defense. Look, he does the job. I haven't really had a flaw with him. Found a flaw with him. Am I back up? You guys are gonna kill me for this. You guys really are gonna kill me for this. But my backup two guard. Manu Ginobili. I don't like again. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Like I have replaced taking Manu out of my team multiple times. I have taken him out of my team multiple times. And then for some reason, like anytime I'm like forced to use Manu, he's like my best player. He's not good, by the way. He's really not good. Like I've seen I have I've looked at his stats, I've looked at his badges. He's not good. He's not. He's just so good for me. Like, he's so good for me. Like, a decent three-point percentage, decent field goal percentage. I'm ch and I'm chucking with this guy. Like, I understand for most people he's going to suck. For me, he's good. So, he's got it. Like, he hasn't done anything to lose his spot. Again, he's diamond play better than him, yeah. But, I mean, he's done nothing. He's, he's been good. Small forward. So, again, this is a tough position. But my starting small forward is going to be Rudy Gay. And it's going to be Rudy Gay. Um, I had not used him as a power forward, but we just got so many good power forwards now. So, Rudy Gay, big player build. I have Gold Chef on him. 33 golds, 9 halves. Again, really, really good gold badges. Got, like, quick first step, intercept here. And some good, decent halves. Stats wise, again, it kind of lies. It's a bit of a lie with Rudy Gay in terms of like his attributes because he's just got that really big player build and a really good release that makes his er everything he does seem better than it is. But like, the guy's brilliant. The guy's absolutely brilliant. Like a lot of people are saying, and the thing is, a lot of people are saying, oh, Steven Jackson and Rudy Gay are the same card. They're not. They're really not. Like they've yes, they have the same animations. Yes, if you look stats wise, you would think they're somewhat comparable. I'm telling you, stat um, stack is not even close. Like, there's not, they're, they're not even close to each other. Like, Steven Jackson should be. Steven, like, Steven Jackson should be my backup small forward, by the way. Like, considering how much I like Rudy Gay, there is no reason at all for me not to be using Steven Jackson with quick first step. But Steven Jackson, there's just something about him. I don't know what it is. I just don't like him. And um, my backup small forward, Um, if I do need someone to guard. Like, Larry Hughes at 6'5", with decent interior and decent block. He's guarding ball no matter what. And he gets half and he gets well, he gets interceptor as well. But if I do, like if Baron Davis is too small to guard ball, like if they're running everything through like a two guard, I'm just gonna put Scotty on them. Scotty Pippen, really nice shooter. He's there for defense. Like half clamps, half menace. Also, in my opinion, a good shooter. Like a lot of people, the people that don't like Scotty are like not a fan of his jump shot. And considering I kind on current gen, I get it. It's not very good. But on next gen, I actually kind of like that jumper. So for me, that's a big reason why I'm kind of high on Scotty Pippen is that I actually like his jumper, whereas most people hate it. And his defense is immaculate. Like, if he gets switched onto a big, he's fine. Good speed, great lateral. He's brilliant. And now this is where it gets tall. We get to that power forward position. So I think there's one no-brainer, and it's Josh Smith. Josh Smith is an absolute no-brainer. So and the guy gets interceptor. The guy gets clamps. The guy can shoot the ball from the corners. I like his release. He's got, he can handle it. He blocks shots. He's a, he's, he can do everything. He's, he's perfect. He's an absolute perfect power forward. A good height as well. He's got an 81 three ball. He's got a great driving dunk. He's got decent ball handle, immaculate defense, pretty good rebounding, and he's got superb speed. Like, there's no reason, there is no reason for anyone not to use Josh Smith. Because, like, no matter what your MT total is, 
If you use him over someone else, you save at least 100k MT. He's worth, like, if he was a... His actual volume gain is probably like 80, 90k. I say that, but AK is 50. And my backup power forward, look. If I was willing to spend more MT, it would be Andre Karolinko, but I'm not. And this is a really tough one, because... I Cliff's really good. Antonio McDyess is surprisingly good. I don't like Kevin Garnett, but look, he has to be an option. Like he has to at least be an option. Calvin Natt is an option. If you don't think Calvin Natt's an option, you're mad. And then if you look at the small forward position, I can use Darius Miles. So, honestly, the player that I like the most, I, I think I might... It's be- for me, it's between Cliff Robinson and Darius Miles. I think I might go with Darius Miles. There's just something about this card. I don't know what it is. It's, is it his player build or something? Like his rebound, he's not good. He cleans up on the boards. His defense isn't great. But he plays great defense for me. Speed's not the greatest. Like he just pl- every time I use Darius Miles, I have a lot of success. Nah, screw. It. I'm gonna use Cliff. I'll use Cliff. I'll use Cliff Robinson. Um, in the team, a power forward. He's got like he's like Josh Smith, but he's slightly better, but has a worse release. Is like stats wise, he's a slightly better Josh Smith, but in general, he's just Josh Smith with a worse release. So yeah, Cliff Robinson get in there as our, and he's also six ten as our backup power forward. So then we're on to our centers. Who do we have at center? Our starting center, Kristaps. Kristaps, one of my favorite players in all of my team. I am such a huge fan of Kristaps Porzingis. It's not even funny. I am such a huge fan of this guy. He's one of my favorite players in all of my team. I still think he's spectacular. I still think he is one of easily, easily the best um, players in all of my team. Like, I was so high on him in my gameplay. And then I used him on a good few other accounts throughout Friday and I loved him. And then I bought him my own account and I played a couple of games clutch time, a couple of games TTO with him and he's been superb. He's such a fun card to use. And the way I play the game, I need my centers to be poppers and be able to mash. And yeah, D-Rob does it, but Chris Tapps does it better. Then off the bench, we got D-Rob Light. We have got slightly worse David Robinson, DeAndre. Slightly worse David Robinson. However, he does get Hoff Interceptor. He's got Hoff Interceptor, Hoff Rebound Chaser. He can shoot the ball from the corners. He can play mediocre or moderately well in the post. But his defense is really, really nice, including that steal rating. And his block's really good. So, he's a little bit slower, but he's going to play very much like a Dave Robinson. He's just going to be a sl- on. He's going to be a slight bit worse, honestly. He's going to be D-Rob, but a slight bit worse. So, that is what we, um, as we have. And as always, we've got Corey Kispert. Dennis Smith Jr. and Joakim Noah rounding off the bench. Jakar Sampson will be in there once Jakar Sampson comes out, but that has not happened yet. So yeah, this is my squad. The real position I think I need to change is... I think I need to change, like, what's Clay Diamond? Like, if Clay Thompson Diamond is cheap, I, I'm by cheap, I mean, like, 15k or less. I'm not paying 50k for him. Like, if you want to get better... For me, the way I play the game, if I want to get better, better and buddy healed, it's Clay Thompson Diamond or bust. And like, I don't want to buy it, pay 50k. So, we'll eventually get one of these, like, quick or shifty two guards with great release, good defense, and taller than 6'4". Or has handles for days. And that'll be a day, but he's gone, and I don't know what the hell it is. There, there will be a day when I will stop rating Manu as the best damn card in the game. Obviously, that's complete, like, just exaggeration. I didn't even, I put him at, like, 70 on my top 100, but I love this guy. Like, you better believe I, like... I'm not lying when I tell you I love this manager opening card. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So we have added in four new players into our squad. So of our 10 man rotation, and I mean, I was considering putting in Bob Sura. I was also considering putting in Darius Miles, so I could easily put six new players today. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Still over the million MT, and we got a pretty damn good squad. Well, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.